right guys, so we're working on something a little, a little different today. A lot of people are probably going to hate on this. A lot of you are probably going to love it. To be honest with you, I don't even really know how it's going to work out. But I'm always willing to try new things and I'm gonna put this thing on. And if it comes out sick, then it's going to be freaking sick. Either that or we're going to total the first gen. But what I have to do is get the shifter out of here. And I guess I'll just let the cat out of the bag right meow. Got ourselves a little handbrake action here. But I'm hoping that uh, this maybe I can have a little fun doing some drifts and stuff. But I'm going to tie into this bracket down here. Same mount that my, um, that my shifter's already on. And then I'm going to build another bracket to step out the side and connect this guy in. It's going to tie. From out here, the brake line's gonna tie right into the rear brakes. So hopefully it'll be pretty fun. It's questionable if we actually come out of sliding, if it's gonna be able to actually spin the tires coming out of a drift like that, but we'll find out. If not, we'll still have another try when I go to swap out to different gears and everything. But this freaking could be pretty mint. <laughs> Shifter mount on the on diddled. Freaking sick custom tab here. But the idea is this thing sits right here. Obviously, you can probably see, still see the square in the floor. I'm squishing the carpet, but I'm gonna build another bracket off the side here. It's gonna weld in around here like so. And I'll mount the uh, I'm gonna cut off this so it doesn't stick out so far. And the handle should be able to come up right here, about the same height as my shifter. Get all done, all tied up and such. Got some paint on there. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but psh, whatever. It's gonna work, so that's all that matters. But that's our bracket or mount for the actual handbrake itself. And we add this plate on to the side of my red shifter bracket here. So then the um, handbrake, the whole mechanism is gonna mount right here, and the handle is gonna come up next to my shifter. It's gonna be a little bit further forward than the other one, but. Got enough room to actually let the handle itself swing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working on getting this baby put back in there.
gents, that's okay. So, I'm a little skeptical on how it's gonna work since it's drum brakes, not disc, so it might have been a disc brake conversion to make it work if it doesn't work. So, me and, me and Tom, let's go out and freaking see if we can't make this thing slide or flip over or something. So, in theory, the whole idea is I can pull this lever and lap my back brakes and freaking drift. I don't drift, but slide because right in the middle drift it. But I don't know if you know it's gonna work or not. I don't like the disc, I don't like the drum brakes we have the power. It's kinda of hard to make them lock up in the garage, so let's see. Let's see if I can get at least something out of it for this video. Trunk just flew out of your exhaust. Uh, usually, trunk of drive oil. Dude, that was mint. I like that. That's a slow mo waiting to happen right there. I 
Okay, so that's we're gonna wrap up that freaking sick video. If you guys haven't already, go down and subscribe. Because again, like always, we have the best videos that there is. And man, see you next time.